The latest test of law governing abortion in the United States is in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. The argument was about whether a state can restrict emergency abortions that are performed in a hospital, like most hospitals, receiving Medicare dollars, where the federal government has basically said that in some circumstances, a hospital must perform an emergency abortion. Seth Chandler teaches law at the University of Houston Law Center. The Biden administration has held that the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, or EMTALA, can cover abortion, and Idaho's law prevents doctors from performing them. The state of Idaho argues the law requires doctors to consider the life of the unborn child as well. Justice Sonia Sotomayor drilled into what Idaho's exception says. If objective medical care requires you to treat women who, are, who present the potential of serious medical complications, and the abortion is the only thing that can prevent that, you have to do it. No. Idaho law says the doctor has to determine not that there's merely a serious medical condition, but that the person will die. Yeah. That's a huge difference, counsel. This amicus brief filed by former Health and Human Services officials says, quote, HHS has consistently interpreted the stabilizing care requirement in EMTALA to include abortion and named Internal bleeding due to an ectopic pregnancy, emergent high blood pressure due to preeclampsia, and acute blood clots as example of when abortion might be indicated. But the spokeswoman for the Texas Alliance for Life maintains that's already covered in Texas's near-total abortion ban. The biggest reason that we're challenging it is because of the false assertion that our laws don't protect women's lives and that we need the federal government to step in. Idaho has an abortion ban similar to the Texas ban. Here in the Lone Star State, any ruling in the case could impact how it's carried out here. It is quite likely that a ruling against Idaho by the Supreme Court would have an effect in Texas. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.